everybody. Welcome to Backstage with Podcasts. As you can see, Evan is not here with me today, but that doesn't mean it's going to be lame because I got John, I got Justin, and a special guest coming with me this podcast. Remember, subscribe today. Listen, it's fun, and it's about Father's Day as we bring in the Von Father. Watch, subscribe, listen. In the beginning was the word, but we're not going that far back. No, we're going all the way back to 2007, where a former Gadzooks manager and a youth pastor decided to do something different. He wanted to start a church and a movie theater. So fast forward 14 years and a mulleted worship pastor, Justin Hagler, turned the vision God gave him for a different kind of church into... The Simple Church, thousands of lives changed, millions of dollars given away. God has done something in Treeport Bossier that no church has done before. And that's right. Join us on the backstage with the Simple Church podcast summer as we look at the humble beginnings of the Simple Church. Talk to the people who were there and had no idea what was ahead. The mullet may be gone, but the spirit of the mullet will live on in all of us, every day. Yeah, yeah. Good to be back. There it is. Oh, yeah. yeah. See, you I, do a, I do a terrible version of that. What is it? <laughs> it sounds oh like an God. animal's got his leg stuck in a fence. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Scott sounds like. <laughs> Yeah, you got to work. It's not that hard. Just go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's it's yeah, terrible. That wasn't right. any better. That's all right. No, that sounded awful. Yeah. Look, but you got a special guest here, Dad. You want to try? It's the it's the Father's Day extravaganza, the special mm, mm. extravaganza. Well, glad to be here. First, I want to <laughs> congratulate Simple Church, fifteen oh. years, Thank all you. the work y'all have done, all the staff. Both, you sound like you're yeah. Is that a prepared speech? Yeah, really. Is this, this prepared? Is prepared. <laughs> this is prepared. Both pastors. Both pastors. Why are you looking at your hand? I've you have got notes? notes on my hand. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Thank you, Father, uh, yeah. for that encouragement. I, I thought it was 14 years. Is it 15 years? I I'll say two thousand. It was 2007. Oh, so here we go with 20 math. would be... <laughs> 14. Yeah. 21 will be 15. This September wow. will be 15 yeah. years. I'm on target, man. I, I, man. I, I, hey, oh, man. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. I'm, I'm glad to hear it, I'm bro. A, <laughs> I'm a mathematician. Oh, here we go. <laughs> With a mission. Hey, hey, With a mission. Hey, what is the mission? Oh, <laughs> is it not true that mom did all your college math homework, though? Not math, John. Mm. All homework. I didn't. I meant, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I meant to be more general. Did so she do all of your homework for college? She was more of the um, clerical part. <laughs> copy. Uh, clerical. Oh. Clerical. So you did the classroom work. Copies, copies. And, yeah. And, uh, I don't think that's the way it went at all. Yeah. Mm. But you did the classroom attendance. Provided me with pens. and Yeah, mm. sure. Of course. Clerical work. He said she did the. I didn't know that you had the option of when you went to college to have people do the clerical work for you. Well, if you got connections, you can uh, do anything. <laughs> or if you're married to them. <laughs> well, we lied. Did, you got a two-year degree from LSUS? Right. Same alma mater as you. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you. That was right. Go Pilots. <laughs> I went at night. Was Am I the first to get a four-year degree in our family history? I think so. Wow. Yeah. yeah. First college graduate. Yeah. It took me 10 years, but, hey, I got out. Right. Hey, as long as you finish. knock yeah. your sermon, don't stop. That's, mm. I don't know what <laughs> sermon it is, but thank you, but you remember that one, Dad? I memorize them all. <laughs> oh, no. They're so impactful. It's August, really are. August 15th. Uh, well, that kind of skip, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> kind of skip. He's so. 2000. So, uh, he don't know. He said, well, uh, yeah. yeah. So, you got your mom to do your work, but you did graduate. Yep. Yeah. The associate's degree. Well, where are we going to go with it? We got, we got 80 years because you're 80 years old. Right. Be 81 in November. Right. And we got a lot to cover, John. There's a lot to cover. So as in the Father's Day, Scott, feel free at any point to jump in and ask yeah, him I, anything yeah, about us. I am, I am not a father, so. No, this ain't yeah. got nothing to ask our father. That you, <laughs> oh, this is not. Sorry. I, we don't. What is it? Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. Me. I wasn't sure if you weren't a father. Well, we don't know. Well, 
<laughs> we hope you're not a father. Look, I didn't know that. it was going to get into. Oh, yeah. there's a lot in here. That there's you a don't lot. Know. Dating and relationships. Yeah. And oh, that. boy. Oh, oh, yeah, no, that's. No, no. We don't want to go there with Scott. No. Trust me. That'll take way too long. <laughs> right. We're going into you questions mm. for you. This is a Father's Day extravaganza. John. Me and John are back together to host you. We and appreciate. Yeah, we appreciate the fact that you're willing to risk it because, you know, at any given moment, this could go sideways very quickly. Oh, I'm as calm as a cat in a... As a cat in a... Uh, uh, somewhere. Yeah, in Scott's home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, Scott's yeah. Mm, yeah. abode. Yeah, yeah his abode. abode. Oh, yeah. oh, I like that. All right, John, go ahead. Hit him yeah. with one. I guess I, my first question for you, Pop, obviously, you know, we're all here in the Simple Church podcast backstage at the Simple yes. Church. You're getting <laughs> all right. extra information here. Love so do you have any favorite memories of the Simple Church, watching it over all these years? Sometimes you were live. You've been on stage and video. Oh, I got one. You were in a oh, fashion oh, oh, show. Oh, that's what I was going to go to. Do you remember the, your fashion you show debut? A, I don't remember. <laughs> he was in a fashion show. show. I, I, you mean the NASCAR one? Is that the NASCAR No, one? we did a Father's Day that, that's Man. right. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Scott got he walked, excited and loud and all. Sorry. <laughs> oh, that's right. Grandpa. I was trying to remember. <laughs> he walked the catwalk. Yeah, walked you were the catwalk. The I believe that's the one that uh, I was walking, and, and one of y'all caught me. I almost walked off the end of the stage, <laughs> yeah. which, which would have been a... <laughs> Not a good night. Yeah, day, it mean. was probably three feet off the ground at least. Yeah, you're a oh, big yeah. showman. You like showing out a little... Somewhat. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we so that was timid? The longest, I don't know. Quietest answer. I need to get the video because you turned into something I don't believe I've ever seen before. <laughs> you were strutting out and acting yeah, on. We man. might have to pull a clip for the podcast. Yeah, yes. I'll have to go back and find that. I don't know what year. Well, you remember what year that was that you? No, I can remember your sermons, but I don't remember what year. <laughs> <laughs> now I think his best dance ever though was at the municipal. Yeah, we do have municipal mm, footage. You did the rock and roll. Well. Yeah, that was the countdown. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah. I do. I do. Yeah. I do. You are a phenomenal dancer. Phenomenal. I wondered where we got it from. Kind of like the uh, swimming. You know? uh, he even did a little <laughs> dance right there. Yeah, well, we're watching on YouTube. We did have him, John. You didn't get to see this. <laughs> do you want to talk about your swimming career at Pineville High? I went to Pineville High in uh, Pineville, Louisiana, which makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> You are sharp. I can tell you're a college <laughs> two-year associate degree graduate. Oh, gosh. I graduated in 1959. And, uh, wow. I was a... Uh, Hold on a second. You graduated in 59. Yep. You were born in 40. Yep. So that means you graduated high school at 19. Did you get held back? Go ahead and admit. You got held <laughs> back, didn't you? I think the teachers were just slower. <laughs> That's that's always blame the teachers. So I never knew this. You got held back. Don't get emotional. <laughs> I mean, okay. is it, do you need a tissue? <laughs> we happen to have them. Yeah, if it's did. too much for you, get you a tissue. I did not get held back. That's well, not, what happened. Well, then, in fact, I did went you to, start late? I went to Boys State in Baton Rouge. Well, that's right. They had they had little cities picked up. Uh, Programmed in Baton Rouge, and we had mayors and I know we know. Council. Yeah, I've heard. I mean, I was, I was selected for that, so yeah. you know, it was. I think. I, I, I think you're. Know. About, I think you're. You're avoiding, kind of avoiding the answer. Did, did you start late, or did you get held back to have 19 no. years of <laughs> lower education? Yes, started in '55, okay. so I was 15, right? We don't know. We can't get I have no idea. You, what, wait, you started in elementary school? No, <laughs> high school. Oh, okay. <laughs> high school. What, Wanted, God, what is Wanted to make sure. We're not getting into math, but did you get held back? No, sir, I did not. I didn't. Mm. We'll I got, have to go to the look, record. Hey, I that. got held back. It's okay. Yeah, we know, Scott. Yeah. Okay, so so you, <laughs> we, that explains a lot. So, but once you went into, you, we were going into your I'm swimming sorry. career yeah, I, my at, at Pineville High School. Me. I just Because you were teaching Ian when you were at our house the last time you were here. I think it'd be simple just to show the video, and that that way I won't have to go into it. Okay, I'll see if I can find okay. that video. That well. could be, we could. Did you, you know, teach swimming no, at Pineville? Well, 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 to be honest, we, we um, Pineville was kind of backwards, and actually <laughs> it was, 
we hardly even had a parking lot, much less a swimming pool. So okay. That was kind of an exaggeration. So where yeah. did you swim? He, that, Scott, the truth the is, when you see this video, he, he looks at my kids. We're in the swimming pool. Uh-huh. He looks and he said, did you know that I was uh, on the swim team at Pineville? And we look around. And I said, Dad, I don't think you were on. The... Oh, yeah, I was. Watch this. And he went into some <laughs> kind of activity <laughs> that you can't define as swimming. You can't define... Somewhat drowning, but with uh, arm synchronization, uh, uh, synchronized drown is what okay. this really was. All right, and my kids are scarred by it. Yeah, so I had the video somewhere because I'll bring it out. Oh, that would save a lot of time. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. it was something I, I, else. I need to see that. But are you sure you're yeah. comfortable with everybody seeing you topless? Oh, sure, sure. Yeah, we okay. Got sure. <laughs> oh, no, he said, sure, sure. We've got you got tens a physique, of, and there yeah, ain't we, no doubt about it. Yeah, there's got tens it. of people that watch the yeah, YouTube. Tens yeah, yeah. of people. <laughs> there we go with math again. <laughs> so then he tells me, John, for yesterday we went to eat. Where'd we go last night? Jan's River Rest. Jan's River Rest. And you love fried fish. Yes. And that comes one of my favorites. Okay, and it was pretty good. You like very it. excellent. Okay. Excellent. So he tells me that he said, "Do we have an agenda for this podcast mm. tomorrow?" He don't. He should have known. I said, that. "No, Dad. We don't have no agenda." He well, said, "Well, Dale Junior, this ain't NASCAR, man. And we're not. Look, we're not looking at Dale Junior." But this is how he started. <laughs> it's the body whisper. He said he started. I don't think it's how he started. I no, hope. he started driving cars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. racing cars. Yeah. Right. <laughs> You do remember that. He was a driver. You remember oh, that? Right. Yeah. I, I meant his broadcast career. Is what oh, I mean. oh, yeah, yeah. his okay. broadcast. So, yeah. Broadcast? All right, so so you went through high school, What? which we this could be a long podcast. We're going through your whole career. You went right. to college, LSU. Where'd you no, go right. to college? The first. He already said, didn't he already say my alma mater? The first. No, that's not entirely true. Oh, Louisiana. Louisiana College. Yeah, first, everybody back then insisted you go to college. So I went to me and my some of my buddies went to Louisiana College in Pineville. And it was a Baptist preacher's college, actually. So that's uh-huh. where we went. So you were going to be a preacher? No, we, that's just the college that was at home, close by. Right. Mm-hmm. And what, so, what was your yeah? Major? What were you What'd going you study? For? Business. <laughs> yeah, did you just? Why think did you up? pause? Did you just try to <laughs> think of something good? That looks just not believable. He said, what business. What is your major? Business. <laughs> Business. What is wrong with you? I'm not. Have you had a stroke since we sat down? <laughs> Are you okay? Look at him, John. He won't look at you either, He's John. turning red. He's turning He's afraid red to look. Shirt. You don't have to just. This ain't an interrogation, bro. <laughs> I know there's bright lights. Yeah, but you th- can look around. Yeah, he's just like. <laughs> <laughs> Business. <laughs> Oh, they had business, a, they had business degrees. They had business oh, degrees. Okay, yeah. that's now, good. I, I do have a question good. before good. we get too Help. far in. Because mm-hmm. I know that you're into cars. Mm-hmm. Right, right. So when did the love of cars for you begin? Excellent. Well, in fact, uh, Marshall Suntag was one of my friends there in Pineville, Louisiana. Is he alive or dead still? Well, it's kind of still? a sad, <laughs> sad story. But anyway. We won't go into the sad story. He, he had a Model A, 20, 29 Model A pickup. Okay. And we rode in Louisiana College in a 29 Ford Model A pickup. Good. And had, you know, John Michael knows they had uh, wood floorboards, and it would backfire and actually catch on fire <laughs> nice. going to college. <laughs> but it's, going. So, yeah. but, so we were hoping well, that fire would burn our books, and that way we would have an excuse. That's like the uh, dog ate your yeah. homework. But, yeah. Yeah. Right. The but so, a so is this book. Model A catching on fire? This is what brought you to for the love of cars? Right. And then we had <laughs> bottled water. We would put it out with a, we had a <laughs> bottle, mason jar full of water. We just pour it on okay. there. It's like moonshine. It, you know, I, I'm going to have to step up. in here. For steam up. And then it would go on yeah. class. Steam I, pre- I appreciate that. That's how you fell in love with no, cars? Your car that, catching on fire? That's not true. Because you built model cars as a kid. Well, that's true. That's yeah, true. yeah. I was talking about real cars. I, oh, yeah. but your love of cars started with miniatures. Right. Exactly. Right. You mm. built models because you still have most of those. Right. Right. Really. That's how it started. Yeah. How many models do you think you have? Probably two to three hundred. Wow. Yeah. And and the reason why you were able to have so many is your mom and dad owned a Ben Franklin store, which was a five and dime. They called it thing, like Morgan and Lindsay or Woolworths. And, 
and they sold model kits. That was in Pine, Louisiana. Gotcha. So did they give them to you, or did you have to buy your model? Well, kit? I was given because that was my salary. <laughs> that was <laughs> you worked for model cars. <laughs> that's right. That's you and wild. John. That's why John he fell in love with them too. I did. Can I turn my head? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can turn. <laughs> you can look over here. You can. Okay. You can. You can turn your head. He was like <laughs> looking at me like this. <laughs> you can go. You can look and and do whatever okay. you want to do. All right. Okay. All right. So John's older. So yeah. y'all connected on model cars. You were also in. Vietnam. So John has a nickname. His nickname is Buddy. Mm -hmm. So most people that grew up with us call him Buddy. Right. So the reason he got this nickname was what? How did he get the nickname Buddy? I think it came. Uh, he he loved Buddy Baker, the NASCAR driver. And <laughs> no, I don't think this is it. No. But go ahead. Well, I, it's just easy to say instead of. <laughs> John Michael. I mean, just hey, I'm, I'm going to come up with a better story. <laughs> okay, yeah. look. Just do you like, understand? Hey, buddy. I mean, <laughs> hey, buddy <you> know. <laughs> this is so funny. Hey, you have got to be kidding me right now. Are you on a comedy tour? <laughs> look. You said, hey, hey buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> buddy. <laughs> it's just your child, man. No, you don't just like you waving at some stranger. Going Am I down. walking down the street? <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> no. You have had a stroke. I am convinced of it. I thought this was going to be serious. It, no. It's, oh. no. You, John, it's oh, not, God. What, the story I've heard is yeah. that while he was in Vietnam, right. he wrote letters to mom yeah. missing your his son. That how's my, how's little, my buddy? little buddy? Does that ring a bell? That sounds a lot better than hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> like a guy walking down the street. That's probably more true. Yep. Yeah, that's that's probably, maybe. That he went maybe from, more true. He went from Buddy Baker. It's easy to say. <laughs> it's like a guy you see down the street to the, your son's nickname. Oh, yeah, I was in Vietnam and missed my firstborn child. That's easier to say than John. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How's John? Oh, hey, my. Buddy. Oh, wow. My. I yeah. just. <laughs> you can't make that up. <laughs> I did like Buddy oh. Baker, but no. that came much later. Yeah. Oh, right. gosh. Yeah. yeah. Just Good. for the record, I was born in 66. Yep. Do you remember that? Yep. Okay. Yep. He's not well, good well, with Well, in, in fact, in that, they uh, let the mother make sure that she was all right and the baby was all right. So I got about a two or three week um, standby before I went to Vietnam. But that, that's the way they did that. So it delayed your deployment. Right. Deployment. That's right. Yeah, your draft. Right. Now, how long were you in Vietnam? From six to six to six, six to six, 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 almost a year. Okay. And so how long were you in the Air Force? Because we also went from high school to college. Because yeah, you went to Louisiana College. You didn't make well, it out of Louisiana College. No. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was a truck on, on fire or whatever. Well, on. this was during the uh, Cuban crisis. That's when the missiles were in Cuba. And they, it was the, the uh, Cuban crisis, and they uh, – the draft was, in fact, in, in force then, and I got a draft notice from the Army in Alexandria, Louisiana. When you were in college or right, right, right out of high school? And, and I'd made a, a D. That's a D like dog, not B. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for all of you that didn't know that. <laughs> this is the best yeah, part. All right. When I made that D. Uh-huh, as in dog. They put... Put me with scholastic pro probation, oh, and that meant say. I could that meant I could be drafted in any day. Ooh, and I ooh. I did not want to go in the army really, so I, <laughs> so I went and joined the Air Force in Alexandria, Louisiana. All right, and then they station they took you to basic. Yep. Where'd you do basic? Lackland Air Force. All right, then from basic you got stationed. Lackland in Amarillo, Texas. And then you got stationed where? In, in, of all places, Barksdale. That's why, right. yeah, that's wow. why I'm trying to make the connection here mm -hmm. to Bossier yeah. City. Yep. Yeah. And how long were you at Barksdale? Uh, <clears throat> well, till I got out. Till I got out. So Six, you're what year did you get out? 67. So you're. No, no, wait. No, I'm, I'm back. Hey, no, I went to, no, I went to Vietnam and, and I got out when I got back from Vietnam. That's so you only stayed in two years? No, four years. Four years. Yeah, 63 to. Uh, 67. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So you were only stationed at Barksdale right. in Vietnam were the only two that's, that's places. Right. That's I mean, right. that's pretty. Yeah. That's right. A little it's, connection. It's kind of cool. He was over at the house earlier this week, and he gave me his original bag that he took to Vietnam, uh, Air Force issue with his name stenciled on the side of it. Oh. John Hagler. Yeah. It just says that's Hagler. Cool. 
Mm, you like that. Yeah, it's cool. And you've got some gifts in there, too, so in the back. In yeah, the back. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Is it going to be an empty Arnold Palmer camp, or am I going to get one or something? <laughs> that, I was wondering if he was going to bring that, yeah, that So, Yeah, do you, uh, you want to go into that? I, Wait, we're not through with Okay. Oh, what? No, go, no, go ahead. ahead. What would you You're like to talk about? You're the guest. We're <clears throat> anyway. Back then, they didn't uh, transport you on uh, Air Force or military planes. You went uh, commercial planes. Mm -hmm. So you were in there with just regular people flying overseas. It was Pan Am, was one of to Vietnam. Mm -hmm. And we landed in. Uh, I, did I didn't get... think that would be a big destination for people when the war is going on. I mean, they let them off at different. Places like yeah. in Europe and yeah, like I was just. They didn't all go to Vietnam. I picture a train conductor walking up and down the aisles. Vietnam, next stop. Yeah, I mean, I was going to say that's a little odd. Amsterdam, Vietnam. Here we go. And let me see your tickets. Everybody gets your tickets. <laughs> so, Wait. how many people were going? Mostly military going to Vietnam. Just scattered. I mean, you would could, hope it yeah. could be 10, 10, 15, 20, You know. Because they were all, you know. Were you nervous? Some, some no, guys. Really. Some you weren't guys nervous. Sleep in the back of the plane, wakes up. Yeah. You weren't nervous about going to Vietnam. Well, that's another story. That's uh, what we're here for. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty much why we're here. <laughs> Being in at Barksdale, um, that's when the Cuban crisis came up, and the, one of the sergeants called me to headquarters and said, uh, "We've got." some orders to send you overseas. I said, okay. And uh, he had a file on his desk about two feet high with volunteers wanting to go to Vietnam. And uh, I kind of, I guess I was a little bit of a smart aleck. And, uh, <laughs> okay. And this big, tough sergeant was sitting there, and I, he said, so you can go to Goose Bay, Labrador, which is, you know, nearly in the Arctic Circle somewhere. Okay. <clears throat> and uh, I was thinking about being underground and for a year. I just, I don't know. So I guess I thought I was tough, and I said, where else could I go? He said, uh, well, you can go to <laughs> Vietnam. Why is this so <laughs> dragged out and slow? And I said... What are all these papers here? He said, that's volunteers for being a... I said, how about sending one of them? <laughs> <laughs> if you've got that many volunteers. It was like a foot high uh -huh. paper. You know, back then it was paper. That pretty much sealed your fate for me. And then he oh. said, I got something for you, and smart he said, aleck. Yeah. He said, well, in that case, I'm going to send you to Vietnam. I said, what? <laughs> wait, wait. You said, whoop, 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 whoop. <laughs> Scott, you gotta relate to that, can't you? What? Just saying things. Oh, I was like, what? Going to Vietnam? <laughs> no, no, just really. saying things. <laughs> yeah, so, but it, <laughs> but my dad has a very similar story to yours. Okay. Yeah. So yeah. you went, but that's so he just sent you then. And what's then? You were well, home. and then later in years shows how life is. Uh, I found out that. Labrador was a paradise, fishing, <laughs> fishing, yeah. and just beautiful. Just in the, mm, of course, yeah. I wasn't informed of that information. <laughs> well, he didn't they, didn't, a, they didn't have a travel brochure. They didn't have a travel brochure in the <laughs> Here's um, and the Yeah, they Lord. weren't really worried about it. So that. take your pick of where you want to go, you know, kind of like that. So as the cartoonist says, you chose poorly. You chose poorly. So, yeah. so in that, that point, Mom is living in Pineville. Yeah. So eventually, y'all moved up here, though. Right. When you came back from Vietnam. Yeah, because it wasn't any um, jobs in Alexandria or Pine. It wasn't anything. Yeah. So in Shreveport was our home, you know, originally. So we came back up here, and, and AT and T was in the old Kroger building on um, is that Seventy Street? Uh, Hollywood. Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And that was called a pilot plant, and uh, I went to work in there. And the one on Mansfield Road was just nothing but concrete and. Uh, you know, steel beams, and oh, yeah. that's where it started. And you know. didn't you tell me that you thought about selling auto parts, but AT&T paid a little, or Western Electric is what it was called yeah, at the time, yeah, yeah. paid a little bit more. Dollar ninety nine an hour. Right. Dollar ninety nine yeah. an hour? Yeah. What year was this? Wow. 67. Over three. No, I mean, no, I'm win. sorry, 60, 67, 68, somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Right before I was coming into the world. Right, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> At the good old 60s. A dollar ninety nine an hour. Yeah. That's I, only slightly I more. I probably still got one of the pay stubs. I bet PB, you do. I bet you do. 
Here's the other thing, just real quick, because a lot of people don't know. Your childhood granddaddy, our grandfather, mm-hmm. was the mayor of Chatham. Yeah. So and you that, were an elite. A, you were in politics. There's a Chatham Lake there, too. He built a lake and named it, they named it Chatham Hagler. They didn't name it Hagler Lake, but he built a lake in the in the town. So I've never I don't heard of that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, I do know that he had a swimming hole that kids were getting in trouble in, so he put a swimming pool in. He told me this story one time. I don't remember that. He said he tried to put it. He goes, you never get in politics. This is granddad. He said, never get in politics. I said, why? And he said, well, we had all these kids going down to some swimming hole. Some of them had gotten in trouble. I think maybe even somebody had drowned down there because there was no lifeguards, nobody doing anything. So as the mayor, he said, I'm going to build a swimming pool. He said the city went in revolt <laughs> over, like, huh. and he said, you can't please people, son. Mm-hmm. It don't matter what. Like, I tried to do the right thing, so I didn't, but I never knew. He didn't, he didn't mention building the lake. That's awesome. I didn't know about the pool. Yeah. I'm yeah. looking at the lake right now. Chatham Lake. Yeah. Interesting. Mm-hmm. So how long was he mayor? How old were you when he was mayor? <clears throat> um, I must, I, I'm not good at dates. I must have been like 10 or 11. My sister, of course, she was younger. I must have been about 11, 12, yeah. somewhere. Yeah. I don't even remember. That's one thing. I'm, I do not remember any elementary school at all. Nothing. <laughs> Well, this is. So I can't uh, answer any questions this is, about this, who was your teacher and what. Well, we of, don't really. Well, yeah, no, okay. we're not going to go we, that. We far. just know you either okay. started late or you were held. Something back. was yeah. awry. Something you did that's not. the only fact that we know at this point. I have a feeling you missed a year, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> this is bad. I'm Maybe. Oh yeah. Hey, hey buddy. <laughs> hey buddy. How did he get his nickname? Well, you know. <laughs> hey, buddy. Wow. That's, that's easier to say. That yeah. made my year. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now you were uh, the, the child of a mayor. I couldn't even get out of the child of a mayor. Right. I mean, y'all own stores. Oh, they had Franklin. another store there called, my sister's name is Jill, and they had a uh, store called Jack and Jill Variety. In Chatham. in Chatham. In Chatham, little concrete block building. It wasn't. And that was because your name was Jack. Yeah, yeah. A lot of Johns were called Jack as yep. a nickname. Easier to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 So Jack and Jill's variety store. Yep. yep. Oh, wow. Goodness. Goodness. We got some Goodness. history down there in Chatham. Yep. Yeah. And there's a racetrack down there now, dirt track. Yep. Sure is. I went The went. Simple Church race car runs on it. Hmm. There you I go, in the old know. Chatham. As the, everything goes full circle. Ah. ah. I see what you did there. Mm-hmm. Ah. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> <clears throat> so we're back down into the late 60s. All right. Then I come into the world about 69, September of 69. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. And y'all were living over there on uh, Hillcrest. Hill. Okay. Mm-hmm. I was thinking. How long do we all we lived on Randolph? Because there's uh, pictures of him coming right. home. Yeah. When we moved, we moved back A and lot. Forth. Why we, is that? We, one Can time we, we moved about? across the street on Hillcrest from one house to another, just carried the stuff yeah, across yeah, yeah. the street. Yeah, yeah, so I got a question. So mm. my, in my first three years of life, mm-hmm. You drove me around one day, and I think we lived in seven houses in three years. More than likely. Why is that? My family, my mother, bless her heart, she counted up one time when she was like 60 years old or something, that uh, her and dad had moved like 25 times or something. Just, and that's because he built houses, too. Yeah, he, he would was build them and sell them, right? Mm-hmm. Well, that's one reason. And another, he just never could settle down. You yeah, know, yeah. Always wanted him. Because by the place. time you were born, we we lived at Randolph for 10 years. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Or not quite no. 10. 69 to 76. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but I was in seven houses in three years. You but just why? Out there that's why all my toys got lost. But yeah, why? Why I move so much? Back then, we... $1.99 an hour wasn't helping. Right. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> Back then we rented, except Randolph. I got it on the uh, VA loan, but I guess maybe the rent went up, or you didn't like the yeah. house, or I'm, yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, we went from Warner Park Elementary. I was there to, yesterday. To Summer Grove. That's where we. That's when we moved. Yep. Mm-hmm. John walked me to school every day, and I hated him for it. I drug Aww. you to school would be more accurate. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Still, there's still marks in the sidewalk where your heels are dug in. <laughs> And you were such a loving brother. You carefully and kind, just like I am today. Yeah, <laughs> nothing <laughs> yeah. version. Nothing but sweet, kind words <laughs> as he drugged me to sweetest. school down the sidewalk. Yeah, as you went and worked hard at the Western Electric to Wait. provide for our family. Now, okay, that's a good topic to bring up because you not only worked at Western Electric, but you moonlighted Ooh. at the Louisiana Downs. That's yep. yeah. Oh yeah. yeah, he was right. What you do? What'd you do? Janitor work? 
then cleaning the stands. Yeah. See, you and yeah. Scott have something oh. connected. See? So wait, so Louisiana Downs is that old? Oh yeah. It, it didn't I even have light. It didn't, I don't. I don't. I can't move. It's fine. Okay, you can move your head. Yeah, you okay. can move. Uh, Louisiana Down didn't even have glass in the front. It was just an open stage. Huh. Yep. I remember I never you bringing me pictures of horses, and I was yeah. very well. They had <laughs> finish line <laughs> pictures. Yeah, but it would just he would just pick them up. Like, look at there. You've heard of Justin a photo Eugene. finish? They literally yeah. studied it. Yeah, <laughs> and I'd be like, "Thanks, Dad," because <laughs> you would always know how to bring just the right gift, Clark. <laughs> they were they were always late, but. <laughs> now, that is a funny Christmas memory. You, oh. And this is still happening to this day. What Pop would do is you'd get up Christmas morning, me and you would wake up wee oh, hours of the morning, yeah. go look at what's under the tree. No, it's not even daylight. And they'd make us go back to bed because yeah. it was too early. Then we'd finally get up for real open presents. And Dad, forever to this day, all day long, he would say, oh, I forgot this one. He'd come out of the closet what, with another gift. What did you, did you just hide them and forget? Or were you having strokes at early ages, too? <laughs> we le- lived in such huge homes. Yeah. <laughs> 900 <laughs> square feet. Just hard to, just remember there's where, a lot of places to went. hide. <laughs> at 900 square feet, it is. It's, it's a tough. Lot, a lot of places to hide. A lot of so. cubby holes. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then... Since we're talking about gifts, can we address another issue? Oh, uh, is it? Why do you Why do you give odd? Oh, gifts? out of my heart. <laughs> this is good. Oh, okay. So, like, because one of the running jokes in the office is people know this, but this is ba- this is backstage or something. That's the whole point of the podcast. Yeah, is you're notorious <laughs> for giving really unusual gifts. So, for example, yesterday we were eating at Jan's River Restaurant. <laughs> Jeff, our cousin, comes up, and you hand him a calendar of the fishing schedule in Orange Beach. He doesn't live down there and doesn't <laughs> fish in Orange Beach. Mm-hmm. But you said just in case you ever want to, you'll know what the fish are doing. Mm-hmm. Correct? Right. <laughs> he has, he has, right. He's no issue with that. That's not odd. <laughs> All right, let's go to another. I just had some extra calendars. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah, Everybody yeah. loves calendars. Oh, yeah. Everybody. <laughs> but let's go back Can't to have enough of them. No, my favorite, because you've gotten better in the last <coughs> two or three years. You've moved to gift cards. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah, I got yeah. good ones today. Yeah. Man, for an 80-year-old guy to, to make it, we were very, th- matter of fact, I already spent your $50 Home Depot, yeah. mm. and I'm very thankful because I mm. bought some more stuff for the deck that's breaking me. All right. Look at there. But it was Way very, go, very helpful, you know. But in the pre- years previous, one year particularly, this is burning my mind, and it's notorious <laughs> in the Simple Church office. People came and asked me, said, hey, your dad was in town. Did he give you a gift or what was going on? <laughs> and I said, well, y'all know how I love an Arnold Palmer. I'm a big <laughs> drinker of an Arnold Palmer. <sighs> I love Arnold Palmer. <laughs> oh, All right. Uh. Not. Just the, the guy and the drink. Yeah, I mean, I'm okay with Arnie, oh. but I'm not in Arnie's army, but I do drink an Arnold Palmer. Oh. Palmer. 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 <laughs> like a boy, boy. Boy, boy, and a Palmer. So Arnold you come Palmer. in at Stockwell when I'm living there, and you said, hey, I know you love Arnold Palmer. And I said, oh, yeah, Dad, I, I do. <laughs> and you handed me an empty can of Arnold Palmer. And I said, oh, thank you. And you said, well, I was thirsty. I drank it on my way. That's the actual truth. Yeah. It's hot of here. It's hot. I, it's hot. That's, I couldn't believe it. I don't know, you. did you want me to keep the can and put it on the wall? Or well, I thought it was like a souvenir or something. <laughs> I just want people to know that's a confirmed true story. Oh. Well, back to the gifts. Oh, okay. I want to credit my wife, Creslin. Oh, She oh. said, you need to give gift cards instead of Thank you, some kind of come card. Yeah, that's Thank where you, the Crestlin. improvement has come from. So we owe it all to Cresslin. Thank right. you, Cresslin. Right. That's right. Well, yeah. Man, we're oh. very, very thankful. Woo. Woo. I got AutoZone, man. I'm going shopping. That's, hey, buy it and get what you need. That's right. Alicia, wasn't oh. an empty Arnold Palmer can. Boom. Oh. <laughs> and I said, Dad. He oh. said, hey, that's just it. I was thirsty. Yeah. By the way, I like how you said it's hot down here as if you don't live on the coast. Yeah, it's hot where you are too, yeah. Pop. I know it gets hot, but we do have a breeze sometime, you know, really. I mean, 
<laughs> I mean, really? Sometimes. Yeah. Like 110 miles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there are some hurricanes. They're called hurricanes. Yeah, they're coming. They name them. Oh. <laughs> All right, so y'all got connected with cars. Y'all did a lot of car stuff. There is a notorious picture I've shown at Father's Days over and over again. And that is why we're sitting by this campfire, and you look like an axe murderer with a walleye. I remember that photo. You got like a bad walleye. Uh-huh. You're looking five directions, and you're holding an axe. <laughs> do you remember this? I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's go into our vacations as childhood. Mm. We didn't have a lot of money, correct? Yeah. Uh, $1.99 $1. an hour. We, we, we weren't that. making much, were we? No. Can I back up here? Yeah, look? sure. Mm-hmm. That's one thing I regret. You start crying. <laughs> one thing I regret. It's like Oprah show. We're okay. here. To one go. thing I regret that we didn't all hop in that GMC truck and just go. But I guess being raised in the 50s, we were raised to keep the yard mowed, keep the house painted, you know, all outside stuff. And I just spent too much time in taking care of cars. How many cars do we have at one time? Seven. John's got some pictures that he did but anyway. put in his office, to, I mean, in his shop. That Yeah, there's one picture in our driveway. I think we had like nine cars in our driveway. But anyway, that's, wow. that was the mistake from being raised in the 50s. You always keep the house. You don't travel. Creston's dad was the same way. She'd say, why don't we do this one? It's too hot. It's too far. It's too much traffic. So that was just something in the 50s. Well, you know, good thing is that it's not too late. That's let's say we try it. Let's travel right now. Let's so Scott, go. Are you, you're looking on. at me, and I know <laughs> because, you're thinking the same thing. No, because, see, because I can only speak to my parents, mm-hmm. because my parents are they're in their late 60s. Mm-hmm. But, like, my grandfather, he took my mom and their whole family of three kids all across the country mm-hmm. in the yeah. 50s. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think so they traveled all the time. And on. same thing with my dad's parents as well. So, so Pop, what you've told me about granddaddy, mm-hmm. that his walks to the Kmart were the furthest he went from his house. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So you have uh, a legacy of people that didn't like to travel mm-hmm. that you were brought up by. Mm-hmm. Now, interestingly enough, you actually do like to travel, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but we didn't travel when we were little. No. Right. We went to Mexico. You've gone on some mission trips with us at Simple Church? Yep. yep. Oh, I know. Yeah, you went on mission trips. So the good news is you kind of changed that. You well, we did. Going. Jill, my sister, my dad, we went on one vacation to Padre Island in, in our whole life but as a kid. you know. That means I mean, that we y'all were, were so we bad were, we were like that he ten- said, I will never do this. <laughs> we, we were like went. teenagers. We were like teenagers. You went to one place? That's it? Yeah. In your and your And I think the only reason that, my Uncle Glenn lived in Houston, Texas, and we spent both nights at his house. I don't ever remember Uncle Glenn. Mm, he was a contractor in Houston. Mm. I, I remember staying at his house one time. Wow. So here's my question then. So like, So when we were growing up, we went to the fabulous. Everybody goes to the beach now. We went to Holly Beach. You mm-hmm. ever, do you yeah, remember that name? Well, Dung Beach. I, yeah. I was going. Dung Beach. Dung. That was actually a resort area. <laughs> yeah. What kind of resort? Hey, well, when it's really, named Dung Beach, the name says it all. Where is this? Well, it's what it really was. South of Lake Charles. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, what it really was was a sanctuary for mosquitoes the size of birds. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That was one of the most miserable vacations yeah. I've ever there are, on in my life. There are photos of that that exist. Oh, and wasn't it a gas shortage at the same time? I don't remember. I think it was. We had to wait in line to get gas. and It was almost as something. You coming down here now, or coming up here now, you were worried about the gas shortage, but you made it. Let's give him a round of applause. Yay. You made it. For Ian's graduation, by the way. Yes. Mm-hmm. Boy, that's <laughs> outstanding. Hold on. Yeah. I know you listened to every the one of The actual name oh, yeah. of the place was Dung Beach. It had a little wooden sign in the sand that said, Welcome to Dung Beach. Now, why did you pick Dung Beach? Well, we'd never been on the coast of Louisiana, and that was just the first. And we couldn't get so any gas because of the gas names, shortage. <laughs> if you're shopping by names, you go with the one called Dung. Yeah, that's let's good. go to Doo Doo Beach. Well, first of all, <laughs> you, know, you don't know where y'all go. Where'd y'all go? We'd get back to elementary school at Summer Grove. <laughs> Write a story about your summer vacation. <laughs> I had a lot of fun on Doo Doo Beach. <laughs> like, I mean, no one else father. was there. No. no. Yeah. But no. We, we slept in the back of the truck. Uh, well, yeah. No, I had a tent. We had no, a tent. Uh, that, yeah. Me and you slept in the back of the oh, truck. Oh, God, that was miserable. Yeah. They had a private tent suite. <laughs> Y'all had a suite. <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> but we didn't do a lot of vacations ever. No. Then we went to the that that axe murderer picture was in now, Arkansas what was that somewhere. What would you go say about that? I was just saying that there, our vacations were like axe murders, doo doo <laughs> beach. I mean, these were the things that my kids need to understand. We've worked hard to, to try to change. Yeah, you know, we learned. Yeah. So out of all the traveling you've done, because uh, you have done better in your latter years as far as being a world traveler, <laughs> out of all the places you've been, what would be your favorite place you've traveled to? Mm. Mm. I should have prepped you with that question. While he's thinking, let me just tell you this. Do you know that we also, <laughs> me and Grandpa's here, we went on a cruise together. I remember Oh, that. my God. Do you gosh. remember that? Mm-hmm. I was a single man. You were single. I got a man. testimony on it, but go ahead. <laughs> a testimony. We, we were two single men cruising the open <laughs> wow. seas. Oh, wait oh and by the way, they just scrapped that ship. Did you hear about that? No, I'm not surprised. It probably needed to be scrapped the day that we were on. That's that. I can promise you. Which one was it? I don't know. Uh, Dung, carnival, carnival. Dung Carnival. It was carnival. probably the. By the way, there. Es- Escasy, I think. I've es- googled Dung I think Beach. That's Escasy. Escasy. I think they scratched uh, Dung Beach. It starts with an X. <laughs> no, it is a C. I know, it, but I mean, no, it's it, got an it, X sound. Not say that. it again. What were you saying? Well, I didn't take vocal. In- <laughs> I didn't take vocal? <laughs> you mean English? English. <laughs> How do you fail English, Daddy, when that's the language we speak? <laughs> I didn't take vocal. Uh, I didn't. <laughs> Did you look up Dung Beach? I did look up Dung Beach, and uh, according to Google, it doesn't exist anymore. Mm, well, they makes probably it even more rare. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> makes it more special. Oh, I got mm-hmm. pictures. It exists. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. Trust me. Anyway, what were you saying? Favorite, oh, favorite oh, oh, about the, um, the oh, Sorry, sorry, crew. sorry, sorry. Another regret. Okay. I Is did, this a testimony? We, I, we did not tithe as much as we should have when we were... You talking about me and you, or you no, and my? Uh, when, no, when I was, no, because I tithe pretty regular. No, when I was married. Oh yeah. But, but this is serious. When I went to, I went to North Carolina because AT and T closed in Louisiana, and about ten or twelve of us went because to save our retirement and insurance, and we liked about seven, eight, nine years. I, I don't. Yeah, know, I remember to get our retirement, and uh, I said I'm gonna tithe. So I started tithing, but before I left. That this is in the head of little coupons, and I wrote a filled out a coupon at South Park Mall and put it in one of those things in the mall. And they wrote me a letter in North Carolina and said we'd won that cruise. So uh-huh. that's how. We, so I, so you God blessed us with a cruise. That's right. On as the a result of your tithing. That's right. Amen. And it's been blessed ever since. Amen. Oh, oh. Look at there. That is a testimony. I wasn't sure where he was going with that. John has a similar testimony. We went on our, my senior trip. Mm hmm. You want to tell that story? Because that's pretty funny. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, some, we didn't travel much. No. <laughs> no. Matter of fact, on that senior trip, your senior year, first time I'd been out of the state of Louisiana on my own, to be clear. How about that? All right. Mm. And so me, Glendale Myers, and Justin head off to Panama City Beach. Cash only, no credit cards. Different time, 1987. Yeah, this mm-hmm. is the throwback. So we get there, had a couple of days of fun. We go to leave, and we'd spend all our money. <laughs> And, and, we, and I'm sure all we had to do was call you, Father, and you'd be so willing to just wire yeah. us money or whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he'd get, figure that out. Yeah. What? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. So uh, we're there the last day, and I'm kind of the oldest one, so I'm kind of like, ooh, this is not good. So we go to the beach, though, because we're there. He might as well have some fun. And I'm standing in the middle of the gulf in the water, and I'm like, God, help. That's really all I said. And about that time, this – money floated up and I unraveled it and it was a fifty dollar bill. Really? Yeah. My now here's what's cool about the fifty dollar bill. That's what I tithed before I left. My oh. I never heard that. If I did I'd forgot. Because I was talking to mom before I left and I was like, hey mom, I'm a little nervous about traveling. Should I keep the money and tithe when I get back? She said, Nope, you need to tithe in faith, give that money and God'll take care of you. He gave me my fifty my bucks God. back. And I don't See? remember that story. Carnival cruises and fifty dollars for washing up on the beach. Mm-hmm. It pays off. It hey, pays. Shaw does. What about that? All right. But with our producer Jordan has actually found lots of information on Dung Beach. Thank He's you, actually Jordan. Texting it to me. Hold on, I got a good one too. Okay. <laughs> it says that it met water quality standards less than sixty percent of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, George. Sixty percent of the less than sixty. Don't swim at Dung Beach. Wow. <laughs> George, 
Thank you for reminding that us once again of wow. the joy of being raised a Hagler. Sixty <laughs> percent. You kids have fun. <laughs> <laughs> there, there were little black pods on the yeah, sand, the, and I the, thought that was just some kind of animal. That was oil. Uh, oil. Yeah, oil. 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 Where are you from? Earl. Oil. Yeah, that's early. Oil. <laughs> oh, dad. Wow. Wow. So well, there you go. That's part of our the way growing up as a Hagler. Oh my gosh, yeah. that's the best. I can say this too. I remember we moved from Randolph to because uh, you were moving on up, man. You moved from Randolph to Savannah, right? And I remember when we got to Savannah. The first time I'd ever seen carpet, I had ever felt air conditioner, and I had seen a shower in my life was when I moved into that house. You what had a boy? private bath. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I had a toilet. I had y'all, y'all had a private bath. And yeah. one more. A sliding glass door. Sliding mm, glass door. Those things right. had never been seen before. I remember laying on that carpet going, it was green carpet. Yeah, yeah like avocado. Green. Yeah, it was avocado green carpet. Mm-hmm. But you, you, this is just another little, you bought that house without ever showing or telling mom, correct? She wasn't in town. <laughs> <laughs> this is marriage advice. Everybody listening, Everybody. do not do. Do not do. Do not do. Jordan, you, Jordan you, as a young married guy, yeah, listen close. Yeah, to make sure you take advice from grandpas. Don't do what he did. You bought that house without ever even showing. My, my dad found it. He he was riding around. And he found it for sale by owner, and uh, and we wanted to get y'all to a better school. And See? I said, I better grab it while I can. So that's what it was. Where was she wow. at? Was she in Vegas? Las time? Vegas with yeah. some friends. And, yeah. <laughs> down depressed. <laughs> She's out there looking at Elvis, and you's out there uh, buying homes to secure the betterment of our future. And of wow. course, then we didn't have cell phones, and I tried to, I didn't know what hotel they were in, and so I couldn't get a hotel. So. <laughs> uh, other advice, if you leave your spouse, know what hotel they're That's in. Right. <laughs> so, so she comes home to a new home. That's right. Yeah, it was kind of like, guess what, honey? You remember what you paid for that house back then? Because I remember, I mean, it was a good deal, whatever it was. Yeah, it wasn't remember. much. I don't remember. They were um, wanting to move or something. Anyway, I don't remember. I don't but anyway, we're getting a better part of town because at that time, uh, more of the park area was getting kind of shaky. So yeah, anyway. no, we definitely. I remember. Yeah, yep. I was thinking of my children. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, and then he then he rolled his eyes though when he said, <laughs> yeah, that's "Oh yeah, we know. Yeah, 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 we, we know. Them. You were really children. Thinking. It is Father's Day. We know. <laughs> yeah, we definitely know. Yeah." <laughs> Well, see, there you go. That's a little bit into our childhood. What else you got, John? What a question. Well, I was just saying, like, for the listener out there, because this is going to air before Father's Day. Okay. So um, <laughs> if you have a dad that's in town, make sure you show up on Father's Day at the Shreveport Convention Center yeah. yes. because it's going to be Man Day. Oh, yeah. We got a lot yeah. of right? Day. Right. You've been to Man Day, been to Man Day. several times. Really good. Good, good. Yep. You enjoy. There's always a little something to eat. Yep. A little fun to be had and a lesson to be learned. Yep. Mm. And our and our theme this year, as dad would say it, is wrestling. Yeah, kinda. Rass- kinda sorta. Kinda. It, it's it's just Well, there's a, gonna be so, a, there's gonna be a wrestling element. Yeah, yes. there's really yeah, because it's really not a theme. But going back to cars, Dad, <laughs> we're actually gonna we're gonna actually have a car that you can smash up with a sledgehammer. I remember Scott doing that. I watched him do it uh-huh. we? We've had a couple. We had a referee one year. Yep. We yeah, had, I was ref. That was yeah, after the, the Saints, Saints law. Yeah. Cowboys car one year. That was a pr- pretty successful Cowboys yeah. side. Got beat up pretty bad. So yeah. this one's going to be, what's it going to be, Justin, this time? It's the old Corona car. Corona. COVID-19. COVID-19. Mm. We're going to put all of the little <laughs> COVID virus, and you can just tear it up, John. And yep. then for, I'm not going to give it away. We're not going to give away. But yeah. something special is going to happen to that car after the fact. Yeah. So you want to watch tuned. the next Sunday. Yeah. Mm. Yes. To the Sunday after Father's Day. But don't miss Man Day, listeners. Don't it, miss it. It's going to be awesome. It's a little macho Man Day. Man Day. <laughs> I, got, I got nothing else for Pop, so, man. That's all I got. All right, Pop, what do you want? Is there anything you would like to say? Is there anything mm. you need to cover? Because this is just probably episode one of Father's Day, long term. We'll have to have you back as another guest yes. to go deeper into mm. so many other aspects. But we appreciate you sharing stories. Well, it was it was fun. I've never done this before, and it was. I think we got a lot of laughs and everything, and and uh, uh, I really enjoyed it. And I want to say hi to my wife. Thank you for all the things she's done to get me here because I. And if people don't know, I've lost one eye with the macular degeneration. I'm so. going to say, no, you have it, though. You've lost the <laughs> big, 
<laughs> you're not walking around like a pirate. I was like, I was you don't thinking, have. I was a, going. Wait, you, you don't, have a glass eye? No, you don't have a glass eye. You've lost a vision in there. I know it. I just said I lost my vision. No, you no. didn't. You said I lost no. my. No. Okay. I thought it popped out of your head. De- detail. It's like, detail. Wow. Detail. When did that happen? Pirate Hagel. Anyway, it's Arr. hard for me to drive. So anyway, yeah. anyway. Yeah. She's done enjoy, a great enjoyed the trip and enjoyed y'all. Enjoy the hospitality and. Everything. Everybody we're going to eat again up. tonight, aren't we? Well, all right. <laughs> Hopefully we're about to eat something for yeah, lunch. Yeah, really. It's lunch. Yeah, we'll get a little snack because yeah. we're eating at 4.30. I mean, that's because you're going with the senior adults. Senior adults got to eat at 4.30. Where, where, where are you eating tonight? Cracker Barrel. Cracker Barrel. Oh, I love some Cracker Barrel. Oh, we're yeah. going to the barrel, son. Yes. Yeah. And, mm. and uh, we'll, we continuously pray for Simple Church to get a lot of volunteers. If you're out there, don't regret coming to Simple Church. It's it's easy to come. It's easy to enjoy the, all. Their, they have activities for children, and it's mm. just a good sermon and really, really. I think we're really getting good. a public service yeah. announcement. Is this right? a, he's not, not reading off again. this either. He's just, no. he's, yeah, he's well, doing. He is thing. looking at it with a blank stare though. <laughs> <laughs> It might be because he's blind in one eye, though. <laughs> hey, hey, buddy. Hey, hey that's buddy. Easy. That's, that's easier that's to cause, say. That's called y'all would let me oh. have an agenda. Uh, oh, my God. Hey, buddy. Hey. hey. He just, it was <laughs> easy Over to here. say. Hey, buddy. <laughs> my own child. As he walked by the house, hey, buddy, and just kept going. I, I didn't know. He's so, you never know. You don't know. No. Oh. He made that full story up. He did, which makes me wonder about a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Well, which, which case well, in point, yeah, let's go there before we get the out of here. Genealogy, we've got to touch on. <laughs> yeah, you have, we're getting you for Christmas this year, the, the genealogy test, because, and now we realize that could open up a lot of can of worms, Pop, mm-hmm. <laughs> but for years, from the time I was <laughs> able to understand which was language, about, 12 and about, older. about last year, <laughs> <laughs> You have told me we were German. Uh huh. German. I even, even, even had this story about us being von Hagelin. Yeah, uh, that because he changed to Hagler. Mm-hmm. You've, where did you come up with that? Because as we have discovered now, we're not from Germany. <laughs> <laughs> we're like from like the Switzer- Vikings, that, Switzerland, yeah. and like Scandinavia. Scandinavia. We have nothing to do with Herdy, Germany. Herdy here. I guess that's what my parents told me, and then I. Transferred it on to Oh, way to go. Pick up the mail. Yeah, they're all dead and gone, but it's easy to point the finger at them now. (laughs) When we get to heaven, we'll ask them about it. Yeah, well, then. We don't have to. But you brought today this genealogy book you got from Hagler's Automotive in Alabama, Mm -hmm. and it says Switzerland. It's clear as day, and you still were holding to it last night. Look at my German jaw telling (laughs) the kids at the table. You don't have a German jaw. Don't, don't. If you see me get mad, you'll see my German jaw. Mm. <laughs> you are not right, it, man. Is that in the medical books, German? Yeah, jaw? I'm sure that is. <laughs> That's a term. But when we get the genealogy, we want a report. Yeah. Okay. All right. Because I've already done mine. Have you done? You hadn't done? Yeah, I have. Did you? Oh yeah, we got it all. But I mean, it's from, from Germany, twenty three yeah. and me. See, now my wife's side's from Italy, and we're from Scandinavia. There cool. you go. Way to go, Viking. That's why you can wear a patch on your eye. One eye, <laughs> one eye Jack. <laughs> That's your name. You do go by Jack. That's why. Oh. Right? Never mind. No. Okay. no. All right. Well, that was it. Well, that was fun, yep. kind of. Oh, well, I no. enjoyed it. I enjoyed oh, that, it. that was very fun. Thanks for having well, me. And you got a, a do good box again for being a guest when you're a oh, guest on the podcast. Good. You have another box My, to take good. with you. Box mm. board. I don't even know what is in there. I box can't remember. Board. Love that. Oh, yeah. You got three nice boxes. You can always re gift them. We know how you are, too. Yeah. Maybe just don't give it back to yeah, us. Just, Maybe yeah. you don't give it. We know where it came from, Arnold Palmer. <laughs> so let's not try to give that back to us. Oh, gosh. <laughs> all right. That's, thanks all for right. listening. Thank you. Happy Father's Day. That's Happy right. Father. Thanks all for your being fathers out there. Happy Father's Day. Have a good one. All right. That's what I'm talking about. Mm-hmm. He loved it. He wanted it. Have a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs>